Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. So, people, right there, we're gonna kick things off with some news pertaining to Reagan King being arrested as part of New York City's One Less Gun campaign. So, according to this article right here, we see out on world music views, Reagan King. He was arrested and charged with weapons offenses in New York City. The 29-year-old DJ, born Matthew Smith, was arrested by the NYPD 113th Precinct's Midnight Public Safety Team on July 8 as part of the city's One Less Gun campaign. It was announced on social media without naming the person arrested, saying, Yesterday, 113 PCT Midnight Public Safety Team made an arrest and recovered this loaded firearm. Excellent work, One Less Gun. Yes, people, so Reagan King faces four charges, including second, third, and fourth degree possession of a firearm, ammunition, and criminal possession of a weapon. Yeah, people, so it's like right here, a lot of people saying, look what happened to Reagan King before, and, you know, him still a walk around with a machine and all of that. It is very unfortunate right here. We yet to hear more about this case pertaining to Reagan King we see circulating across the media channel star so queen of dancehall spice made another appearance on american morning television this time making an appearance on good morning america promoting her and album mirror 25 spice spoke with host of gma3 demarco morgan where she discussed her upcoming album and her 25 years in the business while also speaking on the advice she would give her younger self the veteran dancehall artist queen spice also gave viewers an exclusive first look at her album cover and spoke out about the artists she would like to collaborate with. So moving along the next topic right here, 14 years since the death of reggae pioneer Lincoln Sugar Minot. Yes people his daughter right here Passion Minot say she still feels the pain of losing him. In a heartfelt message to her father earlier today via a post on Instagram, a bereaved Passion Minot shared a video which consisted of photos of her and her father in happier times with her dad, 1984 version of the Jackson 5, never say goodbye, you know, playing in the background as the caption right here she wrote. They say with time, it will get better, but it still feels like yesterday. The pain never goes away. Today makes 14 years since you physically left and things have never been the same. I love and miss you eternally, daddy. Yes, people, so you know right here she just expressing herself, her love for her father, same way, but you know, God give with strength, so life goes on. Yes, people, so Fashion Minot, just go and stay strong and carry on the legacy. Same way. So, Chronic Law explained why he won't be performing at Reggae Sumfest this year and confirmed that he now get his US visa. Check this out. Want some fest? No, no, no. Me go there in the US. Yeah, we are there in America. Yeah. What's up in the world? We're hearing your music, bro. I just the pass, you know, and some of them are presenting what happened to me. Said yeah. Some of them are really about me, like me have a friend who go through certain things, and me just put it in a song. You know what they made this up? It are relatable to everybody, bro. Yeah, because if not to you, it happened to somebody where you know. You know what I mean? Last question. See, this is the most controversial one. That's all girls sang there. Uh, Where the one that come from, father? Because my man, my man, I have some of the, I have one of the worst uh, girl story, you know. Uh, but where you hear this come from, father? Let me tell you, we sing songs where people can relate to, bro, so. If I bought my tour right now, I will put it in the lyrics, so. I just want to. What happened? You see what I said? Yeah, man. I just want to, bro. Yeah, man. All right, I'll I have my experience, I'm just put it in the song, you know. Yeah. Poor flat tire. So we are now in the month of July and as you may know, Vibes Cartel and his co-accused to know in this month 
if they'll be freed. Yes, people, the Court of Appeal say it will hand down its judgment on whether Entertainer Vibes Cartel should be retried for murder by July 31st. So as we're heading into the middle of the month of July, you know, it can be any moment. Some people circulating news, you know, that it's going to be next week. But let's see. Yes, people, based on information, you know, from source, it's like the court are prepared documents right now because the trial is very lengthy and, you know, it has to take a good amount of time. So, right here we see J Progress public figure just speaking about some hidden secrets. Yes, people, Vibes Cartel case show up, you know over the long period of time you know corruption all of that but at the end of the day right here we see people are saying that it is on both sides but you know the most thing people are look forward to right now it is the upcoming decision i don't know how jamaica i will come out of that one yeah. the jamaica judicial system has been destroyed completely and why the Jamaica people them not have no more faith in the justice system in Jamaica? The Jamaica people them feel like them biased. The Jamaica people them feel like right now, to tell you the truth, the people in Jamaica right now, the citizens of Jamaica, are thinking that fifty percent of the population in prison in Jamaica are innocent people because of all. Corrupt, they think that the judicial system is in Jamaica and unfair and biased the system is. Why do they come to this conclusion all of a sudden? Well, I am going to tell you guys now. First thing first, the DPP who was supposed to step down at a certain time in Jamaica had them look a double double and wanted to stay on longer until it blasts up in the media, the opposition coming to come into action and attack the, 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 the leading party and this and that. And when you check it out, the DPP parallel where they have to be removed. And they have to put an acting DPP in position. No. First breach because they said that was a breach of the constitution by doing that. Wanting parallel to stay on for X and X time anyway. But the big, big nail now in everything, we drive the nail in the coffin now, we concrete everything, is the Vice Cartel case. The Vice Cartel case exposed so much things with Jamaica judicial system. The Vice Cartel case exposed the world, the entire, the every little crack, every little scrape, every little mark, Every little hole in a Jamaica justice system, Vice Cartel case has exposed that. What did it take? All it take was a man with money who is before the court of the law right now and fighting the courts and using his money to pull them all over the place, let a lot of things get exposed. With that being said, me I go jump in a little fine writing here so and make uno know what me talk about. The government pays hefty sum for services UK law firm to UK law firm in cartel appeal case. That was the case where cartel bring to privy council in the UK. Jamaica legal strategy for costly privy council case under scrutiny. So of course Jamaican people are not happy. The taxpayers are not happy because all this money which you guys haven't heard as yet, but we'll stay tuned now. Go hear how much money. All this money that the government had to pay for the services of the law firm in the United Kingdom, right? Could have been used for better purpose in the country. But guess what? It was so much money, and this burden was the taxpayers' burden, and they are not happy. They are literally not happy, right? So I'm going to break down things a little bit more for you guys so you can understand as to the scope of the costs which Jamaica had to burden for Vice Cartel being at the Privy Council in the UK 
and for them have them persecution representing their side in the UK also to try and, do, and put cartel where them say it need to be. All right. The government of Jamaica spent 185,659 pounds right for the services of the british legal team that represented jamaica in the vice cartel appeal before the judicial committee of the privy council in the united kingdom so guys do you have any idea how much is one hundred and eighty five thousand six hundred and fifty nine pounds equivalent in jamaican dollars people it is a whopping it is a whopping 36.2 million jamaican dollar that is what it cost the jamaican government to seek the services of their legal team in in the uk to represent them in the in the at the privy council in vice cartel appeal case so after Marianne all announced a new track, you know, and put out some things, it's like a lot of people are push her for go back in a dance hall and all of that. But right here in a video, we see Marianne Hall acts on genuine supports who have been making videos about her acting like they care for her in particular. She points out a female who she labels a witch praying for her online her exact words right here saying i don't want witches praying for me yes people that is what we see marianne hall put out along with that she also used the opportunity to invite prospective members to her church and gave out the address saying i'm living godly life sometime you don't see people until they see something start trending they start acting they care for me a lot of you don't business with me you know that is what she state according to marianne hall the real person know she will never return to her former lady saw dance her life the real people you know yourself the ones that you know that there will never be a lady saw ever again. Yes, people, her exact words right here, I'm putting in quotes. Lady saw dead. That is what she put out. So, you know, all of that lady saw character, you know, will you will never get back at all. So, she makes sure put that out clear and straight. So, people can't expect another lady saw in dance hall none at all for all those who are you know encouraging her to get back into dance hall and all of that so people she just put it out and make them know lady saw marion hall stay which pie you there stay which pie you there you're good girl you understand what i'm saying if you can't see that this is a whole plan and the vision of the enemy then i don't know your whole legacy speaks for itself there's nothing left for you to prove you know what i'm saying you know what I can't take with people? Everyone has a past. Marion Hall had to be Lady Saw to be the person that she is today. Yo, Reggae Media TV, bad done, everything we're bad. Are we mad done? Everything we're mad. Subscribe now, you hear that?